development and uh, what challenges they're going to pose for you guys and what you want to get out of it? Well, you know, they're uh, really well coached team development and uh, one of the better passing teams I've seen in a long time. So, you know, we've got to really uh, focus in on the weak side defensively. A lot of cuts, a lot of screens. Um, they do a tremendous job of reversing the ball. Uh, they play Louisville really, really, really tough and uh, had some really good moments today against Cincinnati. So we're, we're still working on it. We've got some work tonight, obviously tomorrow, and then uh, shoot around. Another quality exhibition of for you guys. You face the number one team in Canada. Now you're facing the number four team, I believe, in Division Two. Uh, just, you know, what have you been able to get out of these exhibition games so far, facing these quality opponents? Well, you know, the Ottawa uh, team, obviously, you guys know, beat us last year in uh, in Montreal. So, quality team, really good coaching. Um, Ottawa was kind of small ball, moved the ball, looking for the three. I thought we did a pretty good job last week uh, contesting. If I'm not mistaken, 80% of their uh, attempts. So we're getting better defensively. Uh, Bellarmine is, is similar to Ottawa. Uh, the only difference is they're bigger. Uh, against Louisville, they started 6'10", 6'9", 6'10", 6'5". Their point guard was 5'8", but the other four guys were really resemble a, a, a quality Division One program. What have you seen from Thomas Bryant in the, you know, I guess week and a half plus he's been back and going at it? Um, you know, he's a kid that's willing to learn. Uh, he picks up things quickly. And uh, I think the best thing about Thomas, or one of the best things, is he cares. So, you know, he's not going to have, if he has a tough day in practice, he'll bounce back the following day because he really, really cares. Following up on that, I guess Coach talked about how bigger lineups, but it's been tough because in the preseason you're putting Max against Thomas or, or Thomas against Juwan. What do you feel like you got out of that, that Ottawa game in terms of maybe working through some of those bigger front court rotations? Uh, you know, the first thing you realize defensively, it makes us a better team because we, we're able to shrink the court. You know, anytime you have Thomas and uh, Max or Jawan on the court or even OG at the same time, any any one of those combinations, the court immediately shrinks. Thomas at 6'10 and a half, uh, Max at 6'8, OG at 6'8 and a half at long arms. Uh, which is clog up the middle, uh, which was something that we, we didn't have last year, quite honestly. Blackman's uh, assistant turnover ratio was really good, 6-1, to one, I think. And I think at the Haunted Hall, I had him unofficially like five assists, no turnovers. Well, why has his passing gotten so much better? Well, I think, you know, he's uh, he's been real conscious of it over the summer and in the fall. And uh, he's done a really good job of watching film. And really, um, as a sophomore, you know, he's really talented. But as a sophomore, I think the game has slowed down a little bit in his head. So his decision making is better, and uh, his handle, his ball handling ability has gotten really, really uh, better over the summer and in the fall. I think you guys only got to the line, I think, nine times. Why, why do you think that was, and what do you mean by emphasizing to try and get that out? Well, you know, you guys were there. For those guys who were there, we turned the ball over quite a bit in the Ottawa game. So those are possessions that maybe if we don't turn it over, we get a chance to get to the ground. So I think as we cut down on the turnovers, we'll have more opportunities to get to the field. What are some good takeaways from what we get out of that last game? I know we think he had like six turnovers, but I mean, is it, are you pressing anything upon him last couple days? No, you know, Troy has had a really good uh, preseason. We want him to be aggressive. We want him to, to, to drive the ball to the basket. Uh, but at the same time, he's conscious of uh, trying to make simple plays. And he certainly has come a long way, and, he, and he's getting better with that. As you study film, I guess you talked about this turnover. 13 in the first half, and 6 in the second. What was different about the second half? Uh, you know, we just kind of sat down with the team at halftime and said, look, some of the, some of the turnovers were uh, unforced. Just keep it simple. Let's make easy plays. Whoever's open, let's move the ball, get it to the open guy. Let's not try to make home run plays. Just uh, just move the ball, simple plays. And those guys respond. Why is Coach Tanner going to run like Ottawa was going to do? They'll run, they'll do it differently. You know, Ottawa was really off the dribble. They wanted to drive the ball. These guys have moved the ball with the pass. You know, um, I think they're they're one of the best passing teams I've seen in a long, long time, regardless of Division One and Division Two. So they can move the ball and attack you differently. It looks different, but it's just as effective and efficient. Coach, what do you tell your team? Some of these Division Two teams have already beat Division One teams out there. Well, you know, there's good players all over the country, whether it's Division One, Division Two. You know. Uh, Iowa lost the other night to a Division II program. St. John's back in New York lost to uh, St. Thomas Aquinas by 30. Auburn was taken into overtime by a Division II program. So we know there are quality players throughout the country, regardless if it's Division One or Two. So we're um, we're aware of how good Bellman. I mean, that's a program that went to the Final Four last year. They won 30 plus games. That's you know we're we're aware of how good they are and how well coached they are. What has Coach Johnson brought to this staff? I know obviously it's just one pre-exam exhibition game, but how has he been up to this 
Well, you know, Coach Judson's a tremendous teacher. You know, he's been doing this a long time. He's a, uh, he's a head coach, a guy that ran his own program. Um, he's been a part of some really, really good staffs. So he's just another resource for all of us. You know, he's a tremendous teacher. He does a great job connecting with our kids. And uh, defensively, he's got a really, really good feel for our, how to teach some of the things that we're trying to get accomplished. Is that even more critical than defensive mindset for the best team this year? Um, I think any year when you're trying to, you know, win games, defense is, is, should be a staple of your program. And obviously, when you add guys like Thomas Bryant and Max Biafel and OG and Jawan, length and athleticism contribute to you becoming a better defensive team. Anything else? Thanks. Okay. All right. Thanks, Jeff.